You've probably seen this all over your feed. Renatrutide, triple agonist, 24% weight loss, next gen drug. And now you're stuck with a decision. Do I start Zepbound now or wait for Renatrutide because it might be a little bit better? Here's the uncomfortable truth. Renatrutide is not actually available for real world use, at least not yet. And the stuff that you can find right now, research grade, black market, and labeled as not for human consumption. And if you're at that point of using something like that, well, your weight might be the least of your worries. I'm Dr. Dan, an obesity medicine pharmacist. Let's walk through this like we're in clinic together so you can make a clear grown-up decision and not a TikTok-fueled panic choice. And if you want more videos like this that are no fluff, no shame, just the science and real talk, then you best be hitting that subscribe button. So first, let's do a quick breakdown. Zepbound, aka tirzepatide, hits two different hormones, GLP-1 and GIP. Together, they turn down your appetite, help your insulin work better to manage your blood sugars, and they slow down how quickly food goes from your stomach to your small intestine. And currently, it's FDA approved, millions of doses have been given, and we've got a lot of really good real world data. You can kind of think of it like a two switch control panel. One, it's gonna help you to eat less, and two, it's gonna help you to manage blood sugars and insulin resistance. Retitrutide, on the other hand, hits three hormones, GLP-1, GIP, and glucagon. Again, GLP-1 and GIP are helping you to regulate your appetite, regulate those blood sugars, and slow down how quickly food's leaving your stomach. And glucagon, you can kind of think of it a bit like a survival hormone. You see, when your body naturally releases glucagon, it goes to your liver and tells it, we need to dump fuel right now. And that's because it usually gets released when your blood sugar levels are low. And so it goes to the liver and gets it to push out sugar and fat into the bloodstream in order to bring those blood sugar levels back up. But in the process of doing that, it can raise up your metabolic rate and your heart rate. And in more extreme situations, it might even go and raid your muscle. Now, what we're finding is that when this glucagon is combined with GLP-1 and GIP, which we don't find naturally in the body, what ends up happening is it counteracts some of the negative effects that would come about by glucagon, such as raising your blood sugar levels way up or causing a whole bunch of fat to be in your bloodstream. So retitrutide looks like it helps to control appetite while potentially helping you to burn more calories by simply existing. Now, all of that is very clever on paper and certainly looks good, but we don't know really what's gonna happen when we put it inside of your body. But first, let's talk about some of the numbers without the drama. Zepbound has been shown to have about a 21% weight loss from baseline, whereas Retitrutide, at least in the trials so far, is showing about a 22 to 24% weight loss from baseline. So if your starting weight is about 200 pounds, Zepbound is gonna lead to about a 40 pound loss from baseline, whereas retitrutide could be like a 44 to 48 pound weight loss. So we're talking about maybe a five to eight extra pounds of loss. But in terms of timeline, Zepbound is readily available and if you got insurance approval, you can start it today. Whereas retitrutide is still in the phase three trials, the trials that we need to determine what is the safety and the full efficacy of this medication. And we're probably not gonna see it come to market until 2026, 2027 is much more likely. So your real question isn't which molecule sounds cooler on TikTok. It's, am I really willing to give up two years of progress for maybe an extra five to eight pounds of weight loss? Most of my patients, once we say that out loud, it's a pretty hard no. Now, if that already cut through some of the noise and decision spiraling that you've been dealing with, be sure to tap that like button and leave a comment below. Let me know, one, I'm starting Zepbound now, or two, I've been waiting for Retitrutide, or three, I'm just here trying not to lose my mind. Let me know in the comments down below and let's start a discussion. Now, I do wanna be brutally clear about something here. Retitrutide is not approved by the FDA or any health regulatory agencies yet. So you can't walk into your local pharmacy, bring them a prescription, and they're gonna hand you an FDA approved medication. 
So then, what is this Reddit true tie that everyone on the internet is talking about how they're getting it? What those people are obtaining is a research grade molecule or chemical that has been clearly labeled as not for human consumption, that has no guarantee of the purity of the molecule that's in it, and it has no guarantee that it's even the molecule that's actually supposed to be in there. And there's no oversight on where it's been obtained from, how it's been mixed together, all the various oversight things that the regulatory agencies do is not being done with these products. For all you know, it could have been made by your neighbor Joe in his bathtub. And that is not cutting edge, that is experimenting with your liver, kidneys, and pancreas. So if your goal is to be there for your grandkids, to avoid more medications and hospital visits, to actually enjoy your life and maybe enjoy retirement down the road, then gambling with mystery peptides from a website is the exact opposite of that. And again, trying to lose weight is going to be the least of your worries if you end up with something that has some kind of contaminant, the wrong dose, or a completely different drug than what is labeled on that vial. Health should always be first. Now, if you're hearing this and thinking, okay, cool, but how do I figure out what exactly is right for me with all this bloody noise out there? And well, that's exactly what I help with in my one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. I help you understand the science, cut through the noise, and build a realistic game plan based on your goals and situation. So if you want that kind of personalized, science-based support, you best head to consult.drdanshub.com to get booked in with me today. Again, that's consult.drdanshub.com, or you can head to the description down below and click the link in there. All right, let's talk about what we know about these side effects when it comes to terzepatide versus retitrutide, at least at this point in time. Because both drugs are in the same family, they definitely share some similar themes. Nausea, heartburn, constipation, diarrhea, occasionally vomiting if you overeat, those are kind of the classic ones that we're gonna see with this class of molecules. But also, you may have things like feeling fuller faster, and rare but serious side effects can include gallbladder issues and potentially pancreatitis. Where retitrutide might differ is with the glucagon piece of things. And so, glucagon may lead to a higher increase in heart rate, may leave you feeling a bit more amped up and anxious as it's kind of dumping fuel into the system and kicking in a bit of a survival instinct, and it may potentially lead to more potent GI side effects, especially at those higher doses. Again, the key difference that we have right now, ZepBound, we have the data, we have the real world data, and we know how to adjust and tweak if things come up and so that we can help you to manage any side effects that occur. Retitrutide is still in the promising, but let's see category. Side effects are much more manageable once we know the drug, the dose, and the quality of the medication. And they can be an absolute nightmare when none of those things are certain. So let's say you're about 55 years old, maybe you're female, postmenopausal. You figure you have about 60 to 80 pounds to lose. You maybe have pre-diabetes or even full-blown type 2 diabetes. And you've also got some achy knees and pretty low energy. Your doctor says ZepBound is covered by your insurance right now. And if you were to start ZepBound right now, you may actually lose 15 to 21% of your baseline weight over the next 12 to 18 months. That means your blood sugars are gonna improve, your knees are gonna feel a lot better, your energy is likely going to improve, and you can move more, play more, and live more. If you wait, well, very likely it's gonna be the same body, same risks, same exhaustion, just with more time gone. And waiting for the perfect drug might sound like a responsible choice, but sometimes it's just a very sophisticated way of not starting. The goal isn't to win some imaginary most advanced medication award. The goal is to get you feeling better and living the life that you want to live in the next 6 to 12 months and not just scrolling about it. So you should definitely consider starting on ZepBound right now, especially if you qualify it from an insurance perspective or you can financially afford it and you care about feeling better in the next year versus waiting a couple of years for maybe a slightly better medication. And for most of you watching right now, it's gonna be going with the proven and demonstrated beneficial medication that is available today and not going for something that's coming off the black market. And if something clearly better comes out in the future, we can pivot, just like many people have pivoted from Magovi to ZepBound because ZepBound has demonstrated better efficacy and generally better tolerated. 
You're not marrying the medication, you're using it as a tool. All right, if this video helped you to feel less confused and more empowered, definitely hit that like and subscribe button because this channel exists so that you don't have to navigate obesity medicine alone. And if you need some help making sense of your situation, the science, the options, the trade-offs, then you need to book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with myself at consult.drdancehub.com or you can head down below to the description and click the link. I don't prescribe or adjust medications. I help you to understand them so that you can have better conversations with your care team. All right, that is it and that is all you beautiful people. Please remember, you don't need the perfect future drug to start taking care of your body today. And as I always sign off, please remember, it is those small tweaks that lead to those massive peaks.